Welcome to OK Managers. This week, as you several of you requested, I'm working on a gate for the modular stone structure series I've been working on. So my main wall segments are made of 3x3 three three dungeon stackers, which are basically staircases. When they're put together, they are actually 3 inches by 3 inches by 3 and a half inches tall. So I want this gate to fit a very similar size as those so that it can fit nicely in with the wall and look good. So I started with a three inch tile as kind of the top piece. I started out with half inch pieces for the sides. I ended up making them thinner. Uh, the half inch really made the gate look kind of out of proportion with the rest of the wall. So I made them thinner so that the gate could be a little bit wider and fit better to scale. I was really eager to glue these things together to kind of get a better idea on how everything was gonna look. So I quickly carved out a little bit of a pointed arch for the top and then I used the hot wire to make a few grooves on the side pieces. For the gate I used some pieces of cardboard from an old cereal box and I just cut a few thin strips that looked pretty decent to me and then super glued them together in a kind of crosshatch pattern. I did not take time to make sure that they were straight. I didn't think it mattered and it kind of gave a nice little look to have little unevenness but this kind of came back and bit me so try to make sure that at least the outer two pieces are nice and straight that way the gate will slide nicely i went ahead and worked on making a slot for the gate for the main design of this i did want to have the portcullis or whatever it's called removable in case i want to either swap it out with wooden doors or something some other gate material or just make it a lovely archway having more uses is better so making this piece removable really improves its usefulness. So I carved a nice slot in the top piece and then kind of lined it up with the grooves on the other pieces. I originally made it a pretty tight fit. This didn't work the best. After everything's painted it does kind of rub against the paint on the cardboard and that doesn't that's not ideal. So I did widen this gap later. Then I hot glued it all together. Ideally you should do a few of the other steps before this but I was kind of rushing. Once I had the basic structure, I went. I really wanted to add something more to kind of blend some of these larger gaps between the main pieces. So I made some L-shaped bricks that I could use to cover the inner seam between the piece, thin piece and then also between the arch piece and the top and sides. I did have to trim these a little bit to allow the gate to go up and down, but overall I think it looks pretty good. I do it, did do these on the front and back, although I do think I did a better job on the front than the back. The back's, it's alright. Not ideal. After I had this structure all assembled, I realized I had not textured or drew in any bricks on the rest of it, so I used a knife to carve in some brick patterns that match the rest of my dungeon stackers, and then I also textured it, it using my rock. I would recommend doing both of these steps before assembly. It's much easier to get into these nooks and crannies before they become nooks and crannies, and it's also easier to support them. These pieces are pretty thin and just working on them in this weird structure. It's very difficult to have a smooth surface support them, whereas if you do it before they're assembled, you can lay them flat against the table and texture them much easier with less worry of breaking them. I would also recommend moving the slot farther back. It is kind of, It looks nice to have it this close to the front, but it only leaves about an eighth of an inch of material. At least that's what I did. I would recommend having more like a half inch in front and then the slot with the gate. It does put it a bit farther back, but that front piece will be much sturdier. As of right now, it flexes very easily. Then I went ahead and mod podged everything to give it a good sealing base coat. I did this on both the cardboard and foam pieces. For the cardboard, I did scuff up the printed cereal box sections so that the paint and Mod Podge could adhere better. After the Mod Podge coats, I went ahead and did my typical stone works for the gate itself, or the stone part of the gate. So I did a black base coat followed by brown dry brushing and then gray dry brushing.
for the gate, I did a black base coat followed by some metallic silver painted over it, kind of a dry brush, and then followed that with some rust. Originally I thought that just the silver would look good, but it tended to blend in with the gate the rest of the gate, so I really thought the rust was necessary to give it some distinction, and I think it turned out pretty good. I did make the mistake of leaving the metal gate piece inside the structure overnight. I didn't think that, I, I thought that it was all hardened, but in the morning I found that some of the Mod Podge must have been wet and it actually stuck to the cardboard, which made it a mess and I actually ended up breaking part of it trying to get it all apart but that was a kind of okay hot glue fix with some painting touch-up to do off camera I made this other 3x3 three three cube this will sit on top of the gate if I want to have a taller wall and it'll actually allow the portacullis thing it'll allow it to actually retract up into that and hide away I Ideally, would have loved to have a little like crank system or something hidden, but didn't have time to think that all through, so I just went with some simple chains coming out the top. It is visible, not ideal, but still looks pretty cool. I actually was going to have the chains go out the back, but I forgot and just made holes through the top. Ideally, you do that before hot gluing the half inch pieces together for the cube. And there you have it. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. And with that, here's some reveal shots. If you found this video helpful, you might actually be interested in seeing this other video I have on battlements to make this entire castle setup. I would recommend. They look pretty cool. Go check it out. For that, I'll see you in the future.